Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how you can create more food storage in your home. If you're like me and you have really limited space to put food, you're probably stressed out right now. You're probably having like food stacked in the corner or bags of chips on top of your fridge or stacks of toilet paper, if you can find any, just like in the different spaces of your living room. It's a weird time and having food storage is really important. So I'm gonna share some quick ways that you can maximize the space you have or find new space for food. The first thing you can do to create more space in your home is to take things out of the boxes. So any prepackaged foods, cookies, granola bars, breakfast bars, fruit snacks, they take up so much space in the package. So grab a basket and fill up all of those loose snacks into a snack basket. If you don't have baskets, that's okay. Choose one of those boxes, cut the top off, and put all the snacks into one of those boxes. Baskets and boxes take advantage of that vertical space. So we're going up, we can stack much more. I even do this with bread, rice, pasta, stacking those things again so I can really maximize the space in the small pantry that I do have. My next tip is thinking outside the box when it comes to food storage. Leaning tower of ramen, hey man, whatever works. Grabbing a shoe organizer and putting it on the back of your pantry or kitchen door, or even hanging it on the wall, that's a really great spot to put those prepackaged foods, packages of oatmeal, quick snacks for the kids. You're taking advantage again of the vertical space, but you're using something that isn't traditionally used for food. Look at those armoires that you have or bookshelves. Take a look at furniture that you have that you can relocate the things to create more storage just for food. It isn't forever, it's just for now, but we have to prioritize what the most important things in our home are and make room for that. Now is the perfect time to purge. Purge out closets of clothes that you're not wearing. Pull everything out from under your bed and get rid of it if you haven't used it in the last 12 months. So you can free up space to store that toilet paper you've been hoarding or those stacks of canned goods, those cases of water, whatever it is that you have that's probably taking up space in your living space, let's create homes for that. Let's create a Costco corner somewhere in your home. For me, that meant taking out all of my dress clothes. I had a closet dedicated to like dresses and blazers and scarves that I never wore. I took everything out and I sorted it into keep and donate. And then I moved the keep downstairs into our Harry Potter closet. This freed up so much space for a Costco corner. We already had the shelving in there. All of the shelving is from Home Depot. It's adjustable. I already had all of these baskets. I may be a basket hoarder, but this gave me an opportunity not only to use those baskets I've been hoarding, but create a ton of storage for all of those dry goods, all of those kids' snacks, those many, many, many bags of chips I bought for some unknown reason. I still have a small pantry where I'm storing all of my canned goods, but I've really freed up a ton of space for all of that important food. I didn't go full prepper. I didn't buy, you know, a ton of toilet paper and a ton of food, but we definitely have enough now to last us a few weeks and everything has a home. It's put away, everything feels organized and in control, so I feel organized and in control, which means my stress level is way down. So I want you to take a look at your home and find ways that you can create more food storage for your family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. Sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about. A lot of the times I don't know what I'm talking about. Last week in the Organizing Experts group, that's the group of people who have taken the course. We do weekly live training. Um, I was talking about some of the biggest issues of clutter and honestly, one of the biggest issues I see with clients is people like shopping at Costco excessively and having like 25 boxes of cereal or a million packages of batteries or like 10 boxes of dad cookies that are stale and nobody actually likes, but why do we keep buying them? You know what I mean? And, and people are forgetting the food that they have and it becomes not only clutter, but wasted money. So I was talking about how people should like tone down buying in bulk and put down the Costco card and like three days later, life got real. And now here I am creating bulk spot and buying in bulk 
My Amazon delivery guy must think I'm a nutter, a nutter, because I go from buying, like I buy groceries every three days and I buy fresh stuff and only have a couple of days worth of food in the house at a time and then go back to, I just, that's what I do and I've always done because I'm really lacking on storage. So, uh, this has been new for me and also I apologize to all of you people who buy in bulk that I was making fun of. I apologize. I'm eating my words, man. You were right and I was wrong. I just never thought this day would come and now I feel like a real dummy. <laughs> I've jumped on board and I've got a Costco corner. It's probably not as much as most people have, but I definitely feel better. So let me know in the comments below if you have jumped on the bandwagon and now are buying more food in bulk, or if you're still like me going day to day, maybe you were before and you still are and you're happy that you were. I just, I'm curious. I'm curious what kind of shoppers you guys are. So let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.